And what CrossFit kind of provided me was an opportunity to get out of my house, to bring my, you know, my baby along with me and just feel like part of a community, have some adult conversations, but also work to be back you know, to feeling um, fit and to feeling and getting my energy back and just really feeling like myself again. Not too far from here, I grew up in Percocy, Pennsylvania, um, and I grew up playing softball. I played softball since I was like four or five, and then I also did competitive cheerleading um, from middle school on and through college. So I went to Villanova and I was a collegiate cheerleader there. So after college, um, I was looking for something to keep me um, fit and working out still, because in cheerleading we had a bunch of programmed workouts um, you know, that our, our coach would assign us to do. So I was looking for something to keep me, um, to keep me fit. So I started to do running, because that's just kind of what everyone did and everyone was doing. So I set, was never a great runner. I signed up with uh, my now husband to do a 5K and we trained for that and did that pretty easy. And then I did Broad Street and I really had to train for that because 10 miles, you know, was no joke for me. That was a, you know, my first serious run. It felt good to accomplish that. Um, and then we did a half marathon soon after that because we had just done 10 miles. Um, and it felt good, again, to like accomplish those things, but it never, like I never really enjoyed the training and I never enjoyed, you know, the actual running <laughs> of that. I was introduced to CrossFit from, you know, two of my best friends had done it. Um, and I had just a lot of preconceived notions about um, weightlifting and girls that were weightlifting and just hearing some things about CrossFit. There was a lot of like, you know, it's very easy to get hurt and things like that. And I always kind of had a bad back. So I was a very, um, you know, hesitant to start something like that. Although I was seeing my friends have a lot of progress and a lot of success with it. <laughs> Uh, so I was seeing my friends have a lot of success and a lot of progress through CrossFit. I just still wasn't sure that was for me, um, again, because I heard, you know, just all those things and I didn't want to become super bulky. That was not my, you know, notion. I just wanted it to be fit. I just wanted it to feel good and I wanted it to, you know, just do something to be active. So I started doing maybe some of the work, like CrossFit workouts on my own through the CrossFit website or just friends sharing me what they were doing. Um, and again, it was always interesting to me, but I never fully um, committed to it. So what led me kind of to do it was that my husband joined um, a CrossFit gym that was with our friends and they looked, they were having a lot of fun. So I was like, all right, I might as well try this. And I had just had Trevor, my first, and I was feeling really weak and I just wanted something. I was like, I need to get stronger. Like if I'm going to be able to keep up and hold my, you know, this baby for this long, like I need to be strong. So that kind of clicked in my head that it was more about the strength of it than just being fit too. I wasn't trying to, uh, for the first pregnancy, I wasn't really trying to lose weight with it. I was just trying to get stronger and CrossFit kind of filled that barrier um, that I was having. I started to understand that this was kind of putting everything I wanted together, the goal setting, um, feeling accomplished when you finished a workout or when you hit a lift that you've been trying to work at, um, and also the group aspect and the community. Um, I really underestimated that part of it um, until I, you know, joined, I joined Kana and I really have understood what it means to be in that community. So I wanted to work out through my pregnancy with Natalie and I did that at, at CrossFit Kana. I really um, was, you know, very lucky that the coaches were um, knowledgeable of how to scale things through pregnancy. I had a little hiccup going into my pregnancy. She gave us a little bit of scare at 32 weeks where then I was put in a modified bed rest. Um, but again, luckily the coaches here are so knowledgeable that they kind of, you know, helped me, guide me into it and not let me just throw myself and I really entered it safely um, and I'm really um, 
I feel really fortunate to have that um, experience. But I think what mostly I'm appreciative of is the fact that, you know, after all that I went through in that pregnancy, that I was, I had an opportunity to feel like myself again. Um, you know, I think postpartum is a, is this can be a scary little world where you're not, you know, you're in this new role. Um, now I have two kids to take care of and you just kind of lose yourself as you know, you are a mom now, but you also want to feel like you did before. Like you want to feel like yourself. And what CrossFit kind of provided me was an opportunity to get out of my house, to bring my, you know, my baby along with me and just feel like part of a community, have some adult conversations, but also work to be back, you know, to feeling um, fit and to feeling, getting my energy back and just really feeling like myself again. So I think that you know, if you're even remotely interested, um, it piques your interest a little bit, it's worth giving it a shot. Um, and I wish I would have done it sooner because I, um, I feel, again, just stronger. I strong physically and mentally. And just, I'm proud, um, you know, that my kids get to see me, you know, putting my health and my fitness a priority. And, you know, that they get to be a part of the community and that the community <laughs> knows me not only as an athlete or as a friend, but as a mother, they get to meet my kids and as a spouse, because um, my husband also goes here and just to get to know us as a family, um, you know, a family that puts our fitness first and um, or puts our fitness as a high priority and um, that just has fun too. And I think that's what the CrossFit Kana community is about as well. So I would say, you know, give it a shot because you never know that you might find a place that you really belong.